Welcome into the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas. Rich Sanders alongside me tonight. I'm EJ Sanders. Quinn Shields on the camera as they get 20 minutes on the clock. Arkansas Razorbacks Division Three Hockey taking on McKendree Bearcats Division Three Hockey. The Bearcats just got a Division Three team not too long ago. Uh, so they're going to be fielding that team tonight here at the Jones Center. Arkansas is coming into this game after uh, losing a couple last week to Kansas. Uh, tough losses for Arkansas last week. How do you look to your first adversity for a lot of these young guys? Uh, how do you look to rebound if uh, if you're Coach Sims uh, this week? Well, you just come back out and you do what you did when you won those eight games. Arkansas is eight and two, and uh, you just have to reach back and uh, grab onto the things that you know that worked. Even when they didn't work last week against Kansas, you got to uh, believe in them and hope they work tonight. I like this move here as they're going to start the Valentini, Wheeler, and Tilson line tonight. Valentini down in the corner. He's going to send this puck back to the point. He's got his man there, Valdron, trying to dump it back in. Whiffs on it, whiffs on it again, gets control of the puck. High circle, fires a shot, save down in front of the net. A nice save there. It's like Bernardini getting the start in net. The Chesterfield, Missouri native stands at 5'8", 155. 18 seconds gone, face off to the right of Bernardini, Joey Bernardini. As Tilson gets tied up there, and it looks like McKendry's going to win this face off back. It's taken down into the corner here by Gay. Gay picks it up, backhands one along, and finds Brown on the far side. Now the near side boards flipped high into the air by Brown into the offensive zone, stolen away quickly by Valdron. He's got a man cross ice, Tilson across the red line, just dumps it into the zone and goes for a change. Valentini and Wheeler will go with him along with Valdron. One four checker for Arkansas as they bat this one back around the boards, picked up far side there by Nelson. Nelson a cross ice pass, stolen away here by Palmer. He just shoots one out front, the rebound taken away there by Nelson. Nick Nelson sends this one all the way down the ice, the bounding puck comes to a halt as Reese picks it up there at the goal line. 19 minutes to go here in the first period. Deacon's going to pick this puck up. He gets checked off of it, falls to the ground. Puck goes off the linesman. Deacon from his back, able to get that one away. Arkansas trying to take this one back up the ice. Deacon with it. Got the pass from Everett. Backhands one, far side. Has a man, offensive zone. Fired on net and gloved down nicely. That was Odeline's shot. Gloved down there by Bernardini. And we have a stoppage with 117 gone. First two face-offs of the game go to McKendry. First two shots of the game go to Arkansas. Razorbacks looking good in those new uniforms there, EJ. Wearing their new white uniforms. They wore the gray uniforms last weekend against Kansas. McKendry in their purple uniforms, as they're accustomed to wear here. McKendry skating from your right to left. Arkansas from your left to right. So Arkansas wins this face-off back. They just dump one down into the corner, picked up there by Feltis. He'll send it around the boards, picked up here easily by DiBiase. It's a tie up along the boards and finally skating away with it is Patchen. He'll skate it across center ice. Down into the corner, picked up there by DiBiase. He gets checked off the puck by Odeline. Now picked up again in front of the net. Arkansas able to get that puck away. And a loose puck picked up here by Sugasawara. He gets it off to Deacon. Deacon has Sugasawara skating with him through the slot area. He tries to pass one off a diving play there. Nicely done to clear the puck by Cooper DiBiase. And sent back by Arkansas. Marsh retreating behind his own cage. He's going to try to bat that one off the boards. Rees there to clean up. And Sugasawara is going to skate it out the far side across the blue line. Passes one off. Farinetta just dumps it in, and Sugasawara goes for a change. Farinetta, the lone four checker, waiting for help. Parisi's going to get down there into the corner. Four checking on the McKendry player. It's just dumped almost out of the zone and finally clears the blue line. Arkansas is going to pick it back up. Farinetta dumps it back around hard around the boards. Coming out to play that one's Bernardini. Just out of the reach of his paddle. Arkansas steals it away in front. Farinetta shot weakly. Steered aside into the corner. Picked up now far side boards by Reich. Reich sends it all the way down the ice and Arkansas hustles to get the touch up for ice. And 2.35 gone. Good start for the Razorbacks. Only one, uh, maybe a misplay uh, Early in the first minute when McKendry had a two-on-one right at the blue line, fortunately the Arkansas defenseman won the puck away and cleared it back to neutral ice. Arkansas going with their traditional checking line here. This is Moore and Jackson. Jackson whiffs on the pass there. The puck loose out front. Arkansas not able to maintain possession. They'll get it back in the neutral zone. Branscombe dumps it back in, takes a check from behind there by Reich. Picked up far side. Not able to control it real well. Reich's going to miss that one as well. Valdron just dumps it back into the zone. Arkansas checks up the offside. 
Back the other way comes McKendry, the Bearcats in their own zone. Bank one off the boards. Valdron, far side circle, steals this one away. Stick handles through traffic, high slot area, loses the puck. Backhands one back to the point, has Branscom. Branscom down low, finds Moore. Moore gets checked off the puck hard there by Patchen. Arkansas able to hold the blue line. Valdron fires a shot from the point. Rebound there, easily covered up though by Bernardini. And with 16.41 to play in the first, we're still scoreless. Two shots on goal now for Tyler Valdron. He's the sophomore from Hamilton, Ontario. Great representation here of Razorbacks all over North America. A few Canadian players starting to make their way down to the less cold Arkansas state border. Right here in the northwest corner of the state as we get another stoppage here. You know, I've been seeing uh, events in Springdale for 33 years. When you went to Springdale High football games, you saw pickups in the parking lot. When you went to Shiloh games, you saw BMWs. And when you come here, you see uh, Texas license plates. <laughs> Arkansas will send this one back down around the boards. Far side, Valentini to pick the puck up there. Arkansas has had the majority of the offensive zone time so far. Passed off Valentini. He's going to send this one back to the point nicely. A bank pass to Palmer. Palmer almost loses control. Back to the point. Valentini's pass is errant, and it's picked up by Valdron in retreat. Waldron scuffles that one back along. Trying to shovel that one against the boards is the Arkansas player, Valentini. Waldron's going to pick it back up, back to Valentini, far side. Valentini gets caught up there with Tilson, but he's going to skate it out of the zone. He takes a hard hit, almost hits the stanchion there. Tilson tries to work his way through. He gets upended as well. Valentini still with the puck, tough angle shot. Rebound out front, he gets leveled. And the puck comes free. Arkansas just going to dump it back into the zone. That was Everett. And picked back up by the captain, Palmer. He'll dump, go for a change. Rees is going to stay out there for the time being. Everett, Sugasawara, and Deacon get on the ice now. Rees steals the puck away. The puck batted back the other direction. A jostle for it here in the neutral zone. Rees can't come away with it. He finally picks up the loose puck on the backhand. He'll skate into the offensive zone. Rees, ahead of steam, fires it through traffic, just bounds wide. Sugasawara getting into the action now. Oda line doesn't need to be caught back here. Good job by Deacon covering for the D as he'll dump it back into the zone. 15.09 to play in the first period. McKendry going to pick it up again. DiBiase, far side, fires it off the boards all the way down the ice. The linesman's arm is up, and it will clear the goal line for icing. Early call on that icing, that puck stood up, and I thought it was probably going to even take a hard left turn for a minute. Arkansas controlling play here in the first 5.02. Five shots on goal, four and a half if you... I want to count that weak one as a half, and uh, none yet for McKendry. I'd say if it was a football game, they haven't even been inside the 30-yard line yet. McKendry coming off a couple of wins against Southern Illinois, Edwardsville. Has a pass in front there by Arkansas, easily steered aside by McKendry. They got a two-on-one if they hustle. Picking it up in the zone is Blandina. He makes a stopping move, pass back, post score. One shot, one goal for McKendry. Caden. One pass. It was a beauty. Caden Brilly from Christian Blandina. And just like that, McKendry's on the board on the road. A breakdown in defensive coverage there by Arkansas. Something Arkansas does well, though, is they, you know, they're generally very sure on the back end. That was just a breakdown. And the loose puck came back the other way for a McKendry goal. One to nothing, McKendry takes the lead. A centering pass stolen away by Wolf. Wolf gets the puck taken from him. One shot, one goal for McKendry. And a tough break for Arkansas. Parisi's stick lift goes awry. Into the zone comes Wolf. He gets tied up there, and Arkansas is going to go to the box for hooking on that. Cress is going to go dig it out of the corner, and Arkansas touches up. On the back check again, Arkansas getting themselves into some trouble. And on the stick lift opportunity, ends up Getting a hold of a man. It was Parisi, and he goes to the box for hooking. 14.21 to go in the first period. Arkansas will have their first penalty kill tonight. So five good minutes for Arkansas, and then the sixth minute has been a total catastrophe. Uh, Razorbacks will try to uh, right all that here in the next two minutes. Arkansas wins the faceoff initially, but McKendry takes it away. Brown's going to pick this one up. Brown fires a pass through traffic on the stick of Brilly. He already has one goal. 
And a nice little stick handling move there by Northrop. He'll send it back down low, picked up by Brilly. Brilly centering pass, broken up by Valdron. Valdron pressuring on a man in the corner. Puck ba bounding back to the point. Sends it over to the high circle, near side, back to the point. Has a man to the far side circle, picked up. Nice shot there, is blocked down. Northrop couldn't get it through the traffic. Poole's going to get it on the near side. Poole gets pegged along the boards there by Palmer. Moore's going to pick this one up. Moore trying to dig it out of the corner here. Good job by Palmer. He's just going to tie it up and try to kill some of this penalty off. Tough angled shot there fired by Brilly. Arkansas is clearing the puck back to the blue line, held in by Nelson. He'll send it back down low, back to the point. Nelson, stick handling there, he'll fire it through the traffic. Valdron, a sure stick there, knocks it away. Far side boards, a sauce pass to the near side, picked up here, and back to the point. A little spinorama pass by Northrop, finds his man on the far side. Arkansas is going to get a change, though, as that pass was not on point. Back to the point, and into the zone comes Nelson. Nelson winds up a slapper, rebound out front. Arkansas clears it aside. Odeline not able to clear the zone. This is Brown with it, Riley Brown, the sophomore, skating it down to the far side hashes. Centering pass broken up easily by Corey Rees, and Arkansas sends it down the ice. Wheeler giving chase, showing off those wheels he has. Rees coming down to four check now, 29 seconds left in the Arkansas penalty kill. Rees steals it away, tough angle shot, rebound there. But a nice save by Bernardini, and it comes all the way back to the neutral zone. On the clearance, Odeline back skating. He's just going to send this one high into the air like he does. All the way down the ice, 12 seconds left, and the Parisi minor penalty for hooking. The Bearcats near side boards. They're going to skate it across the red line, getting tangled up in a man in offside is the call. Three seconds left in the Parisi minor, and it looks like Arkansas is going to kill this one off. Arkansas's best chance possibly of the game was Reese uh, hustling after the puck. Two wings hustling down for Arkansas, and in both cases beating a defenseman who's just lollygagging back uh, to the McKendry goal line. Arkansas could not capitalize, but showing uh, that they're going to take some chances to get some opportunities. Brilly comes into the faceoff circle as Blandina gets kicked out. Farinetta ready to take the faceoff. That puck one ahead, McLean. First time we've called his name tonight. Can't get to the puck. A shot blocked down there by Rees and covered up nicely by Kalmus. Clock still ticking. 12-12 to go in the first period. Penalty up on the board for McKendry. That's uh, not correct. One to nothing, McKendry leads. Only a couple of shots from McKendry here in the early going. Three to be sure. Two of them on the power play. They scored on their first shot of the game and Arkansas was reeling there for a minute. And it seems they've gotten their feet back under them. As this pass is sent back down low, Rees is just going to lift this one into the air all the way through the neutral zone and picked up on the far side of that by Griminger. Arkansas steals it away. This is McLean, low circle, looking for a pass out front. Couldn't find anybody in time. McLean with it on his backhand now, looking for anybody. Just sends it back around the boards to Parisi. Parisi with his head down. It's knocked down. Parisi's going to pick this puck up. I'm sorry, that was McLean. There's an Oda line. Takes it in the neutral zone, shelters his man off the puck, just going to poke it ahead. Pops up into the air. Arkansas looking to get that puck away. It's caught in the skate of McLean. No offside here. Farinetta getting upended there by Patchen. Off the near side boards. Odeline steals it away. Odeline with the puck below the goal line. Centering pass out front and tangled up is McLean. There's going to be a delayed penalty here. Might be for holding the stick. They're going to call him for a hook. 11-16 to go. Period one, and Arkansas has their first chance on the power play. The Arkansas hockey program has been around for quite a while now. Deacon going to tie this. Puck up, has a man at the point. This is Palmer. He sends it back across, has Valdron. Loads up a shot, and he'll score. Tyler Valdron puts it in the back of the net from Palmer. And Arkansas scores on the power play quickly. Makes no doubt about it. And it's a one-to-one -one game. Valdron had two of the first four shots. Kept putting it on net and finally got one past the goaltender. Tying the game. Eight seconds of penalty time is all it took for the Razorbacks to even this thing up at 1-1. Baldron started the year on the D1 team. He's now on this D3 team and is fitting right in. Already notching his fourth goal in his th third game with the team. 
Puck hit high up into the air. Valdron puts that one back down on the ice, just sends it back down into the zone. Sugasawara giving chase here, picked up by Feltus. He sends it around the boards. Arkansas on the four check has been very good. This is where the issue is, though, is getting back tonight for some reason. Arkansas doing a good job there. They get the puck away. Palmer with it again, sends it across, finds Valdron. Waldron looking for the outlet pass. Finds a man near side, Everett. Everett into the zone, fires a shot and scores. Snipes the corner, and Arkansas takes the 2-1 lead. Catching McKendry napping. One glove side, one stick side. Razorbacks uh, can have the whole net, I guess. 2-1 to one, Arkansas. And that one was an absolute laser from the high circle. And it didn't look like Bernardini ever saw it. He had a defenseman in front of him. And that puck came up high on a stick side, and that's a tough save to make for a goaltender. Getting that blocker that high, not easy, especially at five foot eight. It's Arkansas takes the two to one lead. They've responded nicely here to the early adversity that McKendrick Arkansas gave him. Oh, a big hit with the puck. Nicely done there by Griminger, the graduate student, as they skate through the zone. The puck is loose. Good job there by Magnus, just knocking it to the sideboards. He'll send this one back along the boards. Marsh coming down to the corner and make a check. He checks his man there. That was Bilecki. Arkansas picks it back up. Marsh along the boards. Nobody going to challenge Branscombe for the puck. He'll pick it up there easily, sends it out of the zone, back down into the zone by McKendry as we cross the halfway point in the period. Magnus to pick up the puck behind the net on his forehand, sends it to Branscombe. He's got a man on him, tries a back pass, and that puck came out of the zone, no offside. Arkansas getting a bad break there. Magnus frustrated. That puck came well out of the zone and was knocked back in by McKendry to a player standing in the zone. And they did not call the offside. Instead, Magnus will go to the box for the slash. That's the uh, linesman that was just sound asleep over there. nearly to the face-off dot. Either way, Arkansas will have to kill off another penalty. They're one for one tonight doing so. Their only goal given up was an even strength goal. And a pass back across, a shot whiffed on at the point there. Arkansas lucky to get away with one there. Pass back down low, stolen away easily by Rees. Tilson clears the zone, chasing after it here. Back the other direction Valentini. Stick handles, fires a shot. Goes down low, Valentini's going to pick it back up. Nick loses his skates there. And back the other direction comes McKendry. They'll kick it ahead. This is Brown, Riley Brown with the puck. Makes a stick handling move through Corey Rees. Rees cuts down the angle. He'll find Tilson near side. Tilson just wanted to clear the zone and does. McKendry going to clear the offside. Picked up nicely here by Northrop into the offensive zone. He's got a man with him. That's Brindle. Shot at the point. Rebound out front. Arkansas able to take the puck away and send it back below the goal line. Centering pass out front. A wheeling shot. Rebound out front. No. Arkansas clears the puck below the goal line again. One minute left in the power play for McKendry. Picked up here by Poole. Poole with the puck. Sends it back to the point. Another shot there, blocked down nicely by Rees. Gets rebounded right back to the defenseman who initially made the shot. He'll pass one off for Brown. Arkansas just trying to clear the zone. Tilson does a good job of getting in the fray and knocking the puck out of the zone. 39 seconds to go in the power play, and we'll have a delayed penalty here from McKendry. Going to the box here is Northrop for a high stick. And Northrop getting going to notch his first two penalty minutes of the year and at a bad time on the power play. Arkansas's penalty kill doing the job, getting us to even here in an offensive zone faceoff. Arkansas four on four against McKendry right now. Behind the net, this is Parisi with the puck. He's skating with it, finds a man at the point, Valdron. Valdron sends a pass down low, has McLean. McLean looking for anybody, finds Palmer. Palmer, a man in the middle, a tip on net there, and is smothered there by Bernardini. Eight oh six to go in the first period. A four on four expiring here in 19 seconds. 
as Arkansas ties it up along the boards after the faceoff win. Parisi's going to pick it up here. He gets it knocked away. Parisi takes a hard hit into the boards, but comes away with the puck. Parisi still with it below the goal line. Backhands one, finds McLean. He works it through the referee. Far side hash. McLean on his backhand, somehow fighting through sticks and bodies. Still has the puck. This one sent high into the air, all the way down the ice, and the first one to it is going to be Blandina. Blandina an assist already tonight. Arkansas trying to pick this puck out of his pocket, and Farinetta is successful. One minute left in the Arkansas power play now. Sends it far side, McLean. McLean working through a man. He gets checked off the puck nicely by Brilly. Arkansas will have to retreat. This one bounds into the zone. Valdron's going to pick it up here. Back to the point, Farinetta sends it down low, has McLean. Sends it back to the point. Parisi, who fires a shot, blocked up into the netting there by DiBiase. And Arkansas will have an offensive zone faceoff. Razorbacks doing a good job at the blue line, penetrating and getting it to the uh, second level, I guess, of the McKendry defense, getting three on twos almost as the centerman getting the puck right in front of the net. Face off, one back by Arkansas. This is Suga Sawara who makes a turning move down in the corner, centering pass, and just whiffing on it there was Deacon. Didn't get good wood on it, hit the heel of a stick. Comes all the way back down the ice on the clear. Chasing that one down is Odeline. 36 seconds to go. And the Arkansas power play picked up here by Suga Sawara, and he's got a head of steam. The line's been having to dodge Suga Sawara. Picked up by Odeline now. He'll skate it down into the corner to his forehand to Suga Sawara at the point, fires a shot. What a block there by Wolf. Arkansas trying to hold the line. That's Odeline. He's got Everett near side. He'll keep it in the zone. Everett going to send this one back down low, has a man down in the corner. Skating with it now is Reeves. Back to Everett at the point. Nine seconds left in the power play. Back to Odeline. Back down low. Picked up here by Deacon. Deacon looking for a pass now as the penalty expires. Back post looking for Reeves. He let that pass through. Another backhanded chance on the back post. That puck was loose only momentarily. And it was gobbled up there by Bernardini. 6.19 to go in the first period. A 2-1 lead for the home Razorbacks. Arkansas now taking control on the faceoffs after falling behind early and uh, have outshot McKendry by a 10 to four margin at this point. Face off to the left of McKendry's goaltender. It'll be on the near side on your screen. The referee not happy with Moore's positioning there. And McKendry clears the zone all the way back down the ice. And they're going to blow this one dead for icing. Pretty clear there. 6-10 to go here in the first period. Arkansas's had the better chances so far, Rich. And they've had the majority of the offensive zone time. It's amazing that it's 2-1 at this they've point. They've been the better team except for that one minute when they gave up the goal and uh, got the penalty right after it. Moore going to send this one back along, finds Jackson. Jackson can't handle the puck. McKendry gets it out of the zone, but Branscombe's going to try to dump it right back in. Jackson does successfully do so. Chasing after it is Gay. Gay's going to pick it up. He just sends one back along, picked up nicely here by Griminger. Griminger gets, knocks a man into the goal. The back side of the goal. Chasing after it here is Golovko. Golovko, centering pass out front, shot saved. Grosso couldn't put it home. What a pass by Golovko. It's the first time we've seen this line. As it's sent back down low, picked up here by Brown. Brown skating with it down in the corner. He's got it below the goal line. Arkansas needs to be sound defensively as the puck comes out front. Jackson picks it up here. He's wearing that A on the front of his uniform as Branscombe fires this one, and he gets leveled on the near side. A nice hit there, laid on by Gay, and back the other direction. Stick handling in the zone is Grosso, blocked down nicely by the captain, Palmer. And back the other direction comes Valdron. Valdron stick handling through everybody. Valdron still with the puck, low circle. Sends a tough fangled shot across the crease. Picked up here by Tilson. Tilson has a man at the point, finds Palmer. Palmer going to line one up. Stick handles through the traffic, fires a shot, blocked down. And picked up here by Grosso. Grosso, near side boards, sends it around the boards. Tilson's going to check on him in the corner. Valentini down there now. Valentini trying to be careful there was Gay as he almost got him with a high stick. Sent into the offensive zone, trying to skate through the traffic. Was Poole, but Arkansas comes away with it. Palmer near side boards, banks one. And it's batted lazily along 
into the offensive zone for McKendry. Arkansas bank one to the far side, picked up by his D partner, Valdron. They'll go for a change. Valentini just dumps it into the zone. He was behind the red line, but Wheeler beats out the ice. Sent around near side boards now. Rees is going to get it. He's on fresh skates right now. It's gloved down and played ahead. I don't know what the call is here. The Looks linesman like blew it dead. Hand pass type signal, but that's uh, that's going to get questioning from the McKendry bench, and rightfully so. Face off two will be in the McKendry end, so uh, double loss there for the Bearcats. 4.07 to go here in the first period. Arkansas two, McKendry one. For easy to take the face off to the left of Bernardini. Arkansas takes it down into the corner. Farinet is just going to send this one to the far side boards, pinching down as Odeline makes a nice between the legs pass, finds McLean. McLean trying to work it back through a man. He gets taken down there by Poole. Pinching down again is Odeline. Arkansas is going to get this one in the neutral zone and retreat. This is Rees. He just sends this one to the far side boards. And coming back still is Odeline. He'll leave it here for Rees. Four checking there is Blandina. Arkansas to break out of the zone, just missing on that pass. And skating back down to pick this puck up is Grimmier. Grimmier tried to draw the icing by taking that angle, but he wasn't going to get it. Odeline sends it back down, near side quarter, back and forth. Odeline goes up and gets that one. Able to keep it in the offensive zone. That puck nearly eight feet in the air. It's Arkansas. Skates back down. We'll send that one into you got mossed on Monday night. <laughs> Arkansas picks it up here. McLean centering pass, finds Parisi. Parisi loses it into skates, tries to dig it out of there, but coming back the other direction are the Bearcats. McLean almost <laughs> levels Parisi coming back in. If you don't know, they're on the same team. Bearcats skating it out of the zone far side. Trying to get it into the zone is Blandina. Blandina slashing on a man there. Magnus can't come away with the puck. A stick handling move out front by the goal scorer, Brilly. Sent back down below the goal line. Mars trying to get the puck there. He loses his skate. And it's picked up here. A shot there by the Bearcats. Rebound out front. Arkansas can't get it away. Puck still loose. Comes to the near side. Everett's going to get it. He's got Sugasawara far side. Sends it all the way to him. Sugasawara trying to get past the man. He flies by. Fires a tough angled shot. And shutting down the angle is Joey Bernardini. He boasts a 2.5 goals against average and an 8.84 save percentage. Good to see Griffin Sugasawara out there. He's been out there. That was, uh, he has a hard time getting going sometimes. People have learned already early in the season to get a body on him and try to slow him down before he gets going. He's one of the quicker skaters on this team. Him and Wheeler are probably right there. Sent back down. As, oh, Moore takes a big hit on the far side. McKendry upping the physicality here late in the first period. Two minutes to go. Moore's going to skate into the zone. He makes a jump move right by a hunting Feltus. Baldwin just dumps it back into the zone. Picked up by Feltus there. Feltus, the right-handed stick, sends it to the far side boards. Picked up here by McKendry. They're going to bring it back to the near side, skating it towards the offensive zone. It's going to be Nelson. Palmer gets the puck away from him. Valdron back to Palmer below the goal line. Back to Valdron. Little D to D passing there. Tic tac as Arkansas sends it ahead. This is Branscom. Offensive zone now. He skates it to the high slot. Fires a shot weakly on net. Arkansas trying to work it back along. Lost in the skates momentarily by Poole. He'll try to skate it out of the zone. He just shovels it back along. Poole's going to give chase and he gets to the puck first. He's got it far side. He gets taken down there by Moore. Looked like he went down pretty easy. Arkansas not able to get the puck there. Valdron makes a nice stick handling move through. He gets slashed up high, no call. Valdron gets oh. hit hard into the half board. Puck still loose back and forth. Valdron not happy. He's got to be careful. He lays a hit on Tyler Valdron. Back the other way, Parisi to McLean. He'll fire a shot. Sprawling save made by Bernardini. Well, EJ, you didn't get a chance to call it, but you just about called it when you said he wasn't happy. And two seconds later, he, he spotted the license plate of uh, the guy that rammed him into the boards. And uh, I'd say he got the better end of that one. Nice play by Valdron. And they will send. Trevor right to the box. It'll be 
be notching his 18th and 19th penalty minutes on the year. That leads the team. As it comes back to the point, Odeline picks it up here. 41 seconds left in the period. Arkansas on the power play. Rees, cross-ice pass, broken up nicely in front. McLean trying to get the puck back. McKendry, a feisty team, taking the puck away. They'll skate it up the ice. This is Brilly. Brilly gets knocked off the puck. Arkansas matching step for step, stride for stride. As Odeline sends it to Sugasawara. Sugasawara can't get the puck away. He gets upended. 17 seconds to go in the period. Arkansas has time for one more rush here, 13 seconds. They'll send it near side, Parisi. Parisi's got a man far side. Instead, banks the pass off to the near side. Arkansas not able to keep it in the zone. McKendry will kill off the rest of the period. They'll send it down the ice. And that will end the period. Arkansas leads 2-1 to one on the back of a couple of goals. Valdron and Everett with the goals. Valdron with a goal and an assist in the first period and really was uh, the first star of that period. Played an excellent game. The Razorbacks did a real good job in the offensive end. Had 14 shots on goal to just six for McKendry, but unlike Arkansas, a little bit shaky on defense. There were a couple of really good opportunities for McKendry. It it's, might be fortunate that this isn't a 2-2 game, which is strange to say when it looked from here that Arkansas had dominated the first period. But I don't care if the kid on the uh, standing on your right post is Opie Taylor and can barely handle his stick. He's got to be <laughs> checked. And a couple of times, once for a goal, that guy was standing there wide open uh, with nothing but a net and a goalie on the other side of the net uh, to defend him. And uh, Caden really was two for or one for two on those. And uh, that's how the Bearcats have stayed in this game. They're not going to get blown out the way they're playing. They do play good hockey, uh, but Arkansas clearly the better team in the first period. The scoreboard doesn't show how much better, but Arkansas does have the two to one lead heading into the first intermission. We'll be back in 12 minutes.
Welcome back to the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas. The Arkansas Razorbacks hold a two to one lead heading into the second period of play. Arkansas looked to be the better team in the first period, but after 12 minutes of rest, we'll see how McKendry responds, Rich. We will, and uh, maybe we are a little bit biased, but I'd say if you measured the amount of time in the attack zone, uh, the chances, although I don't know that Arkansas has as many just great chances as McKendry. McKendry's chances were pretty good, and uh, a good job in net there in the first period, even though he faced uh, seven shots by Alex Kalmus. Arkansas wearing their white uniforms tonight. First time we've seen them here at home. It looks sharp with the red shoulder yoke. They uh, pretty much uh, done away with the uh, black part of the uniform. They got the black pants but outside of that. And I really like them because they have the names on the back and that helps me because, you know, I'm just coming off that four game suspension for screwing up a lot of the color commentary, but I'd like to thank the uh, North American Color Commentators Association for letting me back on this week. Arkansas getting ready here for the second period. Right you are about letting you back on. Might be your last appearance there, Rich. I heard the second suspension <laughs> is 12 games, so I'll, I'm going to try to be very. might be the rest of the season here at the Jones <laughs> I'm Center. I'm going to try to be very careful. I'm not, I still want to talk about hunting feltus. Yeah. I, I looked it up. It's a mammal, a North American <laughs> mammal. They're usually found around the St. Louis area. Awesome. I noticed awesome. that you mentioned that in the first period. Brent Feltus who is dressing out for his first game tonight. And uh, along with many other McHenry players, they've, they're doing a good job. I Like we've been saying all along, Arkansas looks like the better team. Uh, not as tight defensively as we've seen Arkansas in the past. And McHenry has taken advantage of a couple of, uh, of uh, poor defensive plays by Arkansas. What Arkansas is doing well at the defensive end, though, they're getting the puck out of the, uh, the uh, defensive zone pretty well, and they're doing a real good job on the attack. Uh, especially uh, from the blue line uh, with a goal and assist there tonight already by Tyler Valdron. The neutral zone is all of 20 feet long here at the Jones Center. Not a whole lot of that. Not a whole lot of neutral zone play. We won't see any here. Arkansas will start the second period on the power play, five on four. They're going to send Parisi McLean. It looks like Moore on the far side out there. Hard to tell from this angle. No, that's Farinetta. And they'll send one over near side. Baldrin's just going to skate it right into himself. Baldrin stick handling through into the offensive zone. Arkansas pinned along the boards there near side, trying to dig it out of the corner there. McLean comes away with it, sends it back to the point to set up for Farinetta. Fires a shot through traffic, hits the backboards. Arkansas is going to pick it up here. This is Baldrin. Baldrin winding up a shot of his own. It flutters over the net. Arkansas is going to pick it up here again. They find Parisi near side on the pass from Farinetta back to Baldrin. Baldrin has a man far side. Just misses the stick of Palmer. He'll dump it into the zone a little further. Farinetta picks it up there, banks it off the boards. Palmer can't handle it again. And back the other direction comes Grosso. Anthony Grosso, offensive zone, just loses the puck down into the corner, and he'll send one along. Arkansas picks it back up. Grosso on the forecheck. Arkansas looking to spread back out and get this power play back under control. 26 seconds to go on it. Farinetta misses the puck, and they're going to blow it dead for icing. Farinetta definitely touched that puck. Good puck movement by the Razorbacks in about the first 40 seconds of this period. And uh, Zach Palmer just couldn't control a puck on a couple of occasions. And McKendry able to break out and relieve some of the tension in its defensive zone. Arkansas not getting the benefit of these calls by the linesmen tonight. Marinetta looked like he dumped that puck into the zone, got a stick on it, but Arkansas takes the defensive zone face off. 20 seconds to go in the power play. Skating with it. Shielding his man off of it is Palmer. Palmer sends a cross ice pass, has Valdron. Valdron skates into the zone, unabated, and he'll send this one down low. Parisi gets knocked off the puck and picked up here nicely by Brown. Brown can't get it out of the zone as it's dumped back in by Everett. The penalty expires, five on five. No shots for Arkansas during that power play in this period. Sent back down around the boards, picked up here by McKendry, back the other direction. 
Into the offensive zone comes Nelson. Nelson sends one down low, giving Chase his pool, but Arkansas just tries to shove it out the far side, and they do. Two on one, three on one, back the other way. Odeline with the puck, sends it through the traffic. Suga Sawara hit him in the skate, just wrong. Arkansas not able to come away with a shooting opportunity on that as the puck comes back into the neutral zone, trying to work it on through the traffic as Nelson taken away again by Odeline. Dylan Odeline controls it behind his own net. He's going to leave it here. And now he works out the zone. 18 minutes to go here in the second period. A fluttering pass. Gloved down by Odeline nicely. A little dribbling move there. Looked like he was playing a different sport as Griffin Sugasawara lowers the shoulder and doesn't get a good shot off on the backhand. Arkansas able to hold the line, though. They'll help control it. High circle. It's taken away nicely there by Belecki. He'll send it far side. Up the middle of the ice comes Nelson. He winds up a shot just high. Like that one scared Kalmus a little bit, but Arkansas will retreat. Back behind their own net, and a bad pass off the boards by Dinkin. Stolten away in front. The centering pass, though, is Aaron. As Suga Sawara gets lined up at center ice. Big hit laid on by Patchen. Suga Sawara giving chase, never giving up. Has a man far side. He fires a tough angled shot, hits the post. The outside of the post there. Suga Sawara trying to run a man down. Got to be careful with that stick there. Arkansas does get the puck back as it trickled into the offensive zone for McKendry. Deacon with the puck, controlling it. Across the blue line is Suga Sawara. He'll tip this one into the zone. It won't be blowing it dead this time. So this one's sent back down the other way. Marsh is gonna give chase, and they'll blow it dead for icing now. 16.45 to go in the second period. More than three minutes gone, and I don't have either team for a shot, although I'm not certain that Kalmus didn't get a piece of that one. It went over his head. I think that was more the reaction. I think that might have hit him as it was going over the bar, but I did not chalk that up as a shot on goal. Face off to the left of Bernardini. One back here by Arkansas, shot through traffic, goes off the skate of Branscombe into the corner. Fighting for it there is Patchen and Branscombe. Goes back to the far side, picked up there by Grimminger. Grimminger trying to get it along and a nice hit laid on there by the Arkansas player. That's Tucker Higgins. It comes back the other direction. This is going to be the goal score. It was Brilly sending a cross-eyes pass across. Picked up here behind the net by McKendry. They'll send it back to the point. They got Patch in there, sends it through the traffic. Blocked down, skating down the other direction is Jackson. Jackson trying to run this puck down, but getting to it first is Blandina. Picked up here, near side, Grimminger. Grimminger loses the puck, coming out to play it is Bernardini. Leaves it there for Grimminger, who gets knocked off the puck again. Arkansas offensive zone. Jackson stick handles through, almost works his way around another man, but stolen away. Back the other direction. Comes the offensive player, and behind the play, McKendry going to the box for a slash. Brooks Moore goes down and uh, falls down right in front of the referee saying, hey, he tripped me, and sure enough, gets the call on Ben Patchett. They're going to call him for a slash there. Arkansas going to get another power play here, getting the benefit of the calls tonight. It's Parisi gets the puck over to McLean. McLean controls it here. He's on his forehand near side circle. Stick handling, high circle, fires a shot well higher than that. Pinching down for this one's Palmer, but Gay makes a turning move and sends it down the ice. Sorry, that was Grosso. Baldron skating back for it. He's going to pick up the puck here. He's behind the net. Baldron with it, sends a puck up the far side boards into the skates of Parisi. Leaves a pass there. Has Palmer into the zone. He fires a shot. He almost gets upended. A scary moment there. Dropping to the ice to block that one. He had a man, Palmer did, but I like that he took the shot. It's... Uh, just a case of at least get a shot. We've gone almost five minutes without one. Get a shot, and we'll pick up from there. Arkansas offensive zone, a weak pass sent across. Baldron able to keep it in the zone. Baldron sends one on net. The rebound up in the air, controlled down here by Parisi. Parisi trying to get it back to the point. Can't find his man. Baldron holds the blue line, sends it high into the air. Gloved down by McLean. Backhand pass in front. Farinetta couldn't get good wood on it. Farinetta. Banks went off the boards. That puck's played with a high stick out of play, and Arkansas will have an offensive zone faceoff. 1-11 to go, and the minor penalty to Ben Patchen. You see what I mean there. They got the shot by Palmer, and then uh, a nice tip on goal, and then a third chance that was not a shot on goal, but definitely a, uh, a good opportunity if we can get 
the stick on the puck. Face off to the left of Bernardini. They'll kick a man out of the circle here. Northrop gonna come take the face off now. It's one back by Northrop and sent out of the zone to the near side boards. Chasing it down into the offensive zone is Garrett Poole. He's all alone. Rees and Odeline back there trying to line him up. Arkansas easily gets that puck away from him. Rees with just under a minute left in the power play. Finds Sugasawara near side. Sugasawara, offensive zone, just sends one hard off the boards past Gay to the far side. Brown gonna check on his man over there. Arkansas trying to pick the puck up, just skated back along nicely by Everett. Sugasawara to the point. Has Odeline, Odeline high circle, back to Sugasawara, far side, tough angled shot blocked down, back below the goal lines, Everett to pick that one up. He'll field it and relay it back along to Odeline, who fires a shot from the point, rebound out front, Arkansas not able to capitalize. Sugasawara just misses the opportunity, and Rees can't come away with the puck. He's gonna try to hold the blue line, but instead, the puck clears the zone. Arkansas stick handling, and this puck goes errant off the stick of Rees. Good job getting back on that puck. Ten seconds left in the power play. Arkansas may not have another opportunity here. They'll be content with the puck control with 13.55 to go in the second period. Probably would have liked a goal on that power play. Coming out of the box is Patchen. He loses his stick. He gets off the ice. This puck comes all the way down. Rees going to try to run it down. No icing here. Rees gets upended into the boards. Missing on the puck there was Blandina. Arkansas skates it down. This is going to be Deacon. He shovels one along, finds Sugasawara. Can't get it out of the zone. Turning it back the other way is Brown. High slot, fires a shot, but it's slowed down in front there by Rees. And we'll have an offensive zone faceoff for the Bearcats with 13.26 to go in the second. To this point, I'd say Christian Blandine has been the uh, best player on the ice for McKendry. Uh, both teams, a defenseman is shining. Blandina with an assist on the... McKendry goal and doing a good job helping to clean things up back at his own end of the ice. Face off one back by Arkansas. Magnus sends this one back to the blue line, picked up here by Grimier. Grimier gets it stolen away. Here comes Valentini back the other way. Two on one, he's got Wheeler with him. Valentini fires a shot low, stick the side easily. Valentini back down low, has a man and lined up. There was Wheeler, he got leveled, Arkansas. Going to chase it back the other way. Dalton Wolf going to run it down and avoid the icing. Picked up there below the goal line. Cress is centering pass out front, broken up by Tilson. And Wheeler clears it to the sideboards, not out of the zone. Another shot fired back down low. Arkansas shielding a man off the puck is Magnus. He'll bank this one off the boards. Holding the line, though, is McKendry in the centering pass there by Brindle. Draws the ire of himself as Arkansas gets this one back the other way. This is Tilson, has Valentini near side. A shuffle pass along, Valentini's shot blocked down and spanked back the other way by McKendry. Arkansas can't get the puck here and Palmer picks it up below the goal line. Palmer, near side boards, finds a man. Looking to break out of the zone, Valdron has Tilson. Tilson, wearing that number four, loses the puck. Goes back to the far side, picked up nicely here by Brown. Stolen away again by Arkansas in the neutral zone. A little back and forth here by both teams. Branscombe can't work his way through. Tilson can't find the puck. Tilson would like to go for a change. Instead, Valdron skates it into the zone. Valdron makes a man lose his stick and a nice block in front there by Blandina. Sent back down around the boards. Picked up there. DiBiase, far side. Arkansas just trying to work it back along as Branscombe. Picked up nicely here. Trying to get it out is Brilly. Brilly just shuffles the pass along. It comes all the way down the ice. No icing called here. Beating it out is Balecki. Arkansas sends it near side boards and plenty of time to break out is Jackson. Left there for Branscombe. Moore giving chase now. Backhanded out of the zone by DiBiase. Arkansas just wants to dump it back in and get a quick change. Branscombe going to the bench along with Palmer. Jackson forechecking here. Glove down here by Valdron. He'll hold the line and turn back the other direction. Valdron trying to work through him and instead creates a two on one the other way. A nice poke check on the back check by Rees. Arkansas working it into the offensive zone. Moore, he stick handles through a man. It's back to Farinetta, a pass in front, blocked down nicely again by DiBiase. He is all over the defensive end for McKendry. They work it back into the offensive zone. Garrett Poole beats out the icing. Odeline just skates this one along, has Moore, Moore, Trying to relay one off the boards, can't find his man. Arkansas able to retreat back to the curling dot. They're trying to get out of the zone. This is Jackson, backhanding one along the boards. He's still giving chase, still on the ice. A long shift for Jackson and Moore. Farinetta out there, 
with guys who aren't his line mates. This is Moore making a toe drag, pass back post, broken up in front. Moore's going to turn it back around. Moore needs to get off the ice. He's been out there for the better part of a minute and a half as it's sent back down the other way. Odeline picks the puck up here. He'll send one along, and this one goes out of play. Not allowing the change here. So Brooks Moore is going to have to stay on the ice. Been out there since nearly the 12 minute mark. 10.26 to go in the second period. We're about halfway through this game, Rich. Is this one of those where you take a, well, they didn't do it, where you take a, uh, get thrown out of the circle so you get an extra breath of air, maybe. Now here comes McLean back the other direction. As Moore's just now getting up off the ice, he goes for a change. Getting on the ice here is Parisi. McLean takes the puck away. McLean with it, sends it far side, finds Parisi. Parisi loses it for a second, finds it, gets knocked off his feet. Odeline back checking, finds the puck. A little stick handling move, a little turning move there. Nicely done to control the puck, finds Rees. Rees going to send it back to Odeline, a little tic-tac back to him. D to D pass back up to the point here. McLean just tips that one back along, didn't have anybody with him. McLean going to go shove his man to this one, hit the netting along the Jones center ice. And we'll have a stoppage, 10-15 gone here in the second period. Nearly halfway through, not a lot of offensive action. There, have been, there has been some offensive action, but it doesn't show up in the statistics. Just three shots on goal for Arkansas, one for McKendry as the Arkansas defense is tightened up a little bit and uh, doing a good job there in front of Alex Kalmus. Kalmus. Haven't had to call Kalmus' name too much tonight. We need more practice. As this is Everett coming back the other direction. He whiffs on a shot there, gets through his legs. He's trying to find the puck and getting checked off of it there by Reich, far side. Arkansas getting the puck, a clean shot there by Marsh. Works as a dump. And sent back down off the boards, far side. Marsh not going to beat his man to the puck, and they do blow it dead for icing. Golovko not happy with that. And the man from Kiev, Ukraine. A lot of uh, icing calls have been decided by the decider die, <laughs> which, as you know, is a uh, our code for it's a random thing. And that's not a good thing when you're an official, but we'll let the North American College Hockey Officials Association handle those guys. Maybe some suspensions, right? <laughs> I'm sure Golo Golovko didn't come all the way for the Ukraine just to lose out on that icing call. As Arkansas gets the puck here in the neutral zone, they'll steal it away, picked up here. Near side, Sugasawara, he works one along. He gets checked off the puck nicely there by Poole. Retreating behind his own net is the McKendry player. That is Grimminger. He's trying to work it out of the zone, and Arkansas has been in his hip pocket all night. Sugasawara goes down. Valdron going hunting as well. Sugasawara still trying to get up off the ice. Everett can't get untangled from his man. Meanwhile, down on this end of the ice, McKendry almost had a chance. Marsh with the puck, backhanded along. Sugasawara can't get that one out of the zone. He's caught up in Deacon's skates. Now skating back down low, picked up here by Blandina. His centering pass stolen away here by Sugasawara. He works it to the outside, crosses the blue line, offensive zone, fires a shot well high and well wide. Arkansas sends it back down into the zone. Screening the goaltender is Sugasawara. Was that Valdron again? Tyler Valdron with the shot from the point. He has a lot of shots. He took a lot of shots last week, probably led the team last weekend in shot attempts. He's not afraid to let, let him fly from the point. You know, if it's basketball and a guy's shooting 6 or 10%, you don't like him shooting it. But in hockey, shoot the puck. It's that old Wayne Gretzky quote. Tilson can't get, dig this one out of the corner. Wheeler going to go get this puck down in the corner. He gets tied up there by Blandina. Now there's a fight and a scrum for it along the boards. Blandina trying to pick this puck back up. Wheeler over there. Arkansas comes away with it. Tilson's pass stolen away. A good read there by Brilly. He'll skate it back the other way. Valdron's got to be careful with that stick. Almost got caught in the skates. Back to the high slot. A shot fired just high of the net. Arkansas trying to retreat, but coming away with it's Brilly. He gets a stick lifted. Fires a tough angled shot. Picked up near side. Another tough angled shot there by Blandina. Blandina and Brilly working it nicely for the Bearcats. This is their first big rush of the period. They'll send it back to the point, picked up here by Feltus, but he can't hold on to the puck. He'll send one back across. That's DiBiase. DiBiase's pass 
Gets kicked up into the air and lost in the skates of a couple of McKendry players. Valentini trying to get back on defense. A hip check along the near side boards. Not going to knock his man off the puck. As Branscombe's pass batted along and just clears the zone. Saw a pass like that last week that was a little bit dangerous for Arkansas and then turned into a goal as this one comes down for Ising. We'll have to give, uh, since we discredit them so much, we'll have to give them credit for a good icing call there. Golf clap. And a face-off at the Arkansas end of the ice. Arkansas controlling the face-offs this period. It's 7-3, winning them by better than a 2-1 to one advantage at this point. This pass for this face-off, one back, and it goes on goal. Tough play there by Wolf. Gets it back to the point. Another shot through traffic. Tilson's going to control that one down. Backhands one along the boards. Valentini there trying to shovel it back along. Held in at the blue line by Cress. Haven't called Dalton Cress's name too much. Arkansas knocks a man off the puck, and here comes Branscomb. Offensive zone. He has Tilson with him. Fires his shot instead. And he'll be having a conversation. And it was brief as Branscomb came and gave him a hug. I think next time you're looking for a pass right there. Arkansas, though, often tries that pass. And they're probably not as successful as they'd like to be. Well, like, like I was saying, is a sh if a shot on goal is the result, it's never a mistake. You can always second guess yourself and say, hey, yeah, next time, but shoot the puck. Especially in a period which right now has seven shots through almost 14 minutes. Northrop to take the face off instead of Poole. He got kicked out of the circle. Reese's shot goes through the traffic. Gay giving chase in the corner along with Branscombe. He'll just bat that one along. Moore comes away with it. Centering pass gets batted away at the goal line by the paddle of the goaltender. Branscombe can't get it away from Gay. Gay working hard down low. And the Bearcats still having trouble getting it out of the zone. Moore gets the puck, trying to stick handle through, and he just hooked the stick of a man. Lucky he didn't get a call there. And back the other direction come the Bearcats. Offensive zone, lining one up is Brown. He works one through a man's legs. Riley Brown almost had himself a great opportunity. High slot shot, blocker to side there by Kalmus. And to call his name there, Arkansas sends one to the near side boards. Nobody home. Moore going to chase this one down. Had a man up ahead if he could have just gotten that one away. Jackson on the back check. Moore looking for the puck. Coming away with it, though, is going to be Poole. Poole back to the point, firing a shot through the traffic, and that's going to be a hand pass by Reeves. Odeline trying to explain. A good knockdown, though. That's a small infraction at this point. You're going to have the puck at that point anyway, so might as well face it off with all five of your men back between McKendry and the net. Face off, one to the side here, and Odeline's going to chase it down. Odeline still with a head of steam. The puck drops right in front of him. Odeline with the puck. Tough angled shot, and it hit the butt of the stick. Oh, Bernard D just got a little bit of stick on that one. Tough for Arkansas there. They almost had another goal on the near side. Five and a half to play in the second period. A two to one Arkansas lead in a scoreless second period for both sides. Face off one over here to the side for McLean. McLean's going to work through a man, still has the puck, takes a man down with him. That was Golovko. McLean's pass out front, shot by Marsh. A great pass by Trevor McLean. And he is starting to separate himself as one of the best players on this team. Beautiful pass. Backhand from behind the net. McLean on the ice at the same time right now as Cooper DiBiase. DiBiase wore number 19 for the Dallas Snipers last year. Two years ago, Trevor McLean wore number 19 for the Dallas Snipers. Small and world. Who you older fans will recognize, he's probably called the million dollar defense man, and you'll understand the reason if you remember professional wrestling 30 years ago. This one's sent all the way down the ice, and they do blow it dead for icing. And <laughs> there's a protest on the McKendry bench about that, as well as on the ice. You mean about my comment? About something. Looks like it's about that icing. Was it about puck. icing again? Yes, it ah. looked like it tipped an Arkansas player's stick. We'll Google it here between periods, and I'll make my run down to the official's locker room. It 
Ah. And the protest works. Well, it, it works one dot wise anyway. Well, two dots. Send the center eyes. Nope. They're saying center it's ice. an errant whistle. Ah. And since uh, McKendry uh, <laughs> asked enough is what we'll say, they, they get their way. Arkansas working through center ice. Taken away here by McLean. McLean with the puck on his backhand, trying to shovel it along. Finds Parisi near side, but he lost it in his skates. Tie up here on the near side boards. Taken away by Farinetta. Farinetta gets lined up there, and it's lifted into the neutral zone. Arkansas on side now as they check it up. Coming out of the net to play it is Bernardini, the freshman from Chesterfield, Missouri. Leaves it there for DiBiase. And out the backside comes the Bearcats. They're into the offensive zone to the forehand, backhand. Back to the forehand, no call here. Arkansas gonna bat this one to the far side of the ice, picked up by Farinetta. He'll slam one around the boards. Comes ringing around, picked up here by Magnus. He'll flutter one into the offensive zone a little deeper, picked up here by Brilly near side. Deacon gets back and a bad pass there by Valdron and another centering pass, a backhand wheel there by Brilly. Couldn't get that one to go. Deacon has it, sends it to Valdron behind the net, who sends a far pass ahead. That's Everett tipping it into the zone. No icing here. Everett lays a hit on. Everett lost sight of the puck, though, and he gets checked from behind. That was Feltis. Arkansas centering pass out front. Deacon, the wrong stick hand for that. And back the other direction comes Northrop and the Bearcats. You were right. That is a hunting Feltis. Arkansas sends one along the near side. And another shot blocked down nicely by Valdron, and he gets tripped up. And going to the box here is going to be Derek Northrup. And that's just Valdron still playing an exceptional game. Makes the uh, stop of the puck, knocks it down, takes off, moves his feet, and gets tripped. 3.36 to go in the second period. Arkansas with a power play. It's only the second penalty of this period. And McKendry started the period with a penalty. That's the second penalty also on Derek Northrup, another St. Louis, Missouri native. Probably a Blues fan. Favorite player might be uh, Tarasenko maybe, huh? Might be. McLean skating it down low. He'll fire a shot. It's batted aside there nicely by Golovko. Arkansas getting the loose puck on the near side. Nice job there by Brown just to clear the zone. It comes all the way down the ice. Kalmus comes way out of the net. Banks one along the boards. Picked up here by Arkansas near side. They'll try to send this one into the neutral zone. They got a three on two the other way. Parisi with McLean. He's got a man instead. He loses the puck only momentarily. Picked up here by Palmer. Palmer leaves it down low. McLean wasn't ready for it. McLean just going to hold the boards. Sent back to the point. And Arkansas holds the line. They'll send that one back down low. Brown with it, and he'll backhand that one out of the zone all the way down the ice. Golovko getting, giving chase on Palmer, the captain for Arkansas. Makes a stopping move, and Golovko takes the puck away from him. Good job by Palmer getting back. Baldwin's going to pick this one up. 106 to go in this second period. This is Parisi on the ice. Near side. Trying to work this one back to the point. And Valdron couldn't get a stick on it. And back the other way comes Arkansas. A poor power play so far. 2.30 to go. Not in general, just this one. As Arkansas settles it behind their own net. Wasting a little bit of time here looking to break out. Look like they're setting up the flying V back there for you Mighty Ducks fans. Back the other direction comes Arkansas. This is Everett. Lays a pass off. Has Deacon. Deacon high circle. Makes a spinning move. Looking for anybody to get the puck away from him. Odeline has it now. Odeline just fires this one high into the zone. Flutters behind the net. Picked up here by Everett. Everett trying to bat one down below the goal line. And he's fighting for it with Griminger. Arkansas trying to bat it back along. Arkansas with the puck. This is Odeline. A nice stick handling move. Tries to get to Suga Sawara who whiffs on the shot in front. Rees gets the rebound. Fires the shot. And puck was loose. And it rolls beyond the goal line. But not between the pipes. As the penalty expires, Arkansas makes a bad pass near side, taken away by Patchett. Patchett offensive zone for McKendry. Back post pass, shot saved by Kalmus. I don't know how he got over to that one. Another pass out front, Arkansas avoids danger again on the back post. That would have been the second one tonight as there's a fight for it, far side boards. 
Odeline comes away with it, just trying to bat it back along. And nice job by Odeline. He just sends it down the ice. He wants the brief rest that he will get from this icing call. Well, in the last three minutes, which included all that power play, Arkansas with one shot and two defensive zone turnovers. One almost very, very costly as uh, McKendry, which is not getting a lot of shots, only 12 so far this game, had another excellent grade A opportunity. 106 to go in the second period. Face off one back by McKendry. Arkansas takes the puck away. They're trying to get it out of the zone with one minute to go in the second period. Skating it up, this is Odeline. Odeline can't get this one out. And Odeline does work his way through, fires a shot well high of the net. Skating back forward is Wheeler. Wheeler knocks a man off the puck. Wheeler fishing that one out of the near side board, sends it down low. Tilson giving chase along with Valentini. Far side, this is Palmer. Wheeler takes his spot at the point. And back the other way comes McKendry. Two on one, this is Nelson. Nelson into the offensive zone. He's got a man Northrop with him. Won't get a centering pass off. Arkansas breaks that up. And they'll send it back the other direction. 25 seconds to go in the period. Tilson with the puck. Tilson firing a shot, looking for a rebound, not going to get one. And Bernardini smothers that one with 21 seconds to go in the second. Bernardini has looked good other than uh, two consecutive shots there in the first period. So far he has 20. One saves and 23 shots on goal by the Ice Hogs. Arkansas loses this faceoff. McKendry sends this one back to the point. It goes right through the legs of an Arkansas player. Two on two the other way. Picked up here by Blandina. He can't get the puck into the offensive zone. It's Time is waning here in the second period. Moore can't get the puck off. Tick, tick, tick goes the clock. Five seconds left now. Three, two, and one. And Garrett Jackson lines a man up to finish this period off. Tick, tick, tick goes the uh, Garrett Jackson time bomb there. <laughs> a stellar hit to end the period in Arkansas. A period that they've struggled with in the past, have uh, held their own and staved off any chance for McKendry there, and especially could, late in the period. You could see it there when they iced the puck there with about two minutes left and uh, needed that rest and then almost couldn't get that change. Needed one uh, uh, push and a uh, deep dump to get new people on the ice, but you could tell at that point the Razorbacks were pretty tired on the ice, and McKendry uh, one of the teams who has come in here unlike some of the ones early in the season with a full roster is able to uh, match the Razorbacks step for step that period and stays within a goal. Well, 12 minutes go on the intermission clock. We'll be back in about that amount of time for the start of the third period as everybody clears off the ice. Don't go away. We have a good one on our hands.
We are back here in the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas. Rich Sanders alongside me, EJ Sanders. And Quinn Shields on the camera as we get ready for the start of the third period. The Nets getting put back on their moorings and positioned there behind the creases. Arkansas, a good first period and a solid second period has led them here to the finale of this game, Rich. It's a good period. It really was the kind of period I like where you have a lot of good defense. Uh, you know, like I said, the best defenseman on the ice, Christian Blandina, who's actually a forward. And, yes, I did uh, get the notification. I've got a one-game suspension coming up, possibly more, because I have a whole third period ahead of me. So <laughs> I could be in a lot of trouble. The uh, shot so far, 23-12, to 12, Arkansas with the lead. I'd say McKendry has just as many good chances as Arkansas in this game, though, and that's what Arkansas has got to be very alert to as we play the final period. Uh, looking good in goal, though. Alex Kalmus with 21 saves. Uh, Joey Bernardini uh, minus the, uh, the uh, well, he's the one with 21 saves. Kalmus with 12 or 11 saves. Uh, Bernardini has looked awfully good uh, despite the uh, two goals, the goals in succession there in the first period. Love to see Arkansas get its offense rolling again. It's kind of hard, though, when you're protecting that one goal lead. So a challenge ahead for the Razorbacks. Bernardini, quite the mouthful in net. Is he related to that guy who plays left field for the Red Sox? <laughs> Andrew Benintendi in action tonight in the World Series. A sweep, sure. possibly? I'm sure most people are watching that. <laughs> and listening to us. But for those of you that aren't, yes. here we are as we get started. Glad Puck you're with us. here in the third period. Sticks tapping against the boards, and this one blown dead. They're going to kick a McKendry player out of the circle. This is probably the fifth or sixth time they've done that to a McKendry player tonight. Unusual because Arkansas usually gets kicked out at about a 3-1 to one ratio here, and the Razorbacks 23-16 leaders in faceoffs going into this period. Really to take the faceoff now against Deacon. Grant Deacon ties his man up. But McKendry wins the faceoff. Near side, Brown looking to dump it out of the zone. He'll hit this one into the offensive zone. Paddled aside there by Kalmus. Kalmus loses the puck. I should say Palmer loses the puck. Arkansas is going to get it back, though. Everett with it. Near side boards, flips it into the air. Chasing that one down as Farinetta tries to make a move through a man, but Brown is back there for McKendry. The Bearcats try to clear the zone. Picked up here by Odeline at the point. Odeline working through a man. Can't get past anybody. And this one's banked off the boards. Brilly's got one-on-one, -on -one, now two-on-one, -on -one, back the other way. Picked up off at the zone. Balecki, stick-handling move, but stick lifted at the last second by Cam Farinetta. He's got it near side. Farinetta, offensive zone. Sends this one around. He's the lone four-checker here. Picked up by Gay. Gay turns it back the other direction. The game of Pong going on right now in the neutral zone as Arkansas gets it back. This is going to be Faldron. High slot area. He loves shooting from there, but it goes wide. 19.03 to play. Two to one lead for Arkansas, skating back behind the net, picking it up. That's Poole on the far side. He gets tied up, tries to send it out of the zone. Arkansas got to clear the offside, and they do. This is McLean. McLean in the high slot now. He's got two guys on him. Arkansas will have to retreat again. Baldron backhanded pass, finds Suka Suarez stick. Far side, he carries it off as Pine into the zone. Takes two guys out with him. Parisi with it, centering pass. McLean back post, but shut down by Bernardini. 18.36 to go in the third. It's interesting how you uh, describe that as Suga Sawara taking two guys out. I saw it as it took two guys to slow him down. Uh, either way, six of one, half a dozen of another, as uh, we're still trying to get him untracked for the Razorbacks because he can offer some scoring punch. As Arkansas tries to gain traction here. As McKendry top fires a shot. Off the faceoff on the other end of the ice. The net came off its moorings there as Kalmus came to get the puck. Those well, nets a lot stronger this year, uh, something that we used to see a lot of here at the Jones Center. So those things coming off. And we'll see now that they'll start slipping off a lot more <laughs> now that you've jinxed it. That was a good uh, cover-up, too, by Kalmus. I think a smart play there. Maybe a resurfacing of the ice helped that out. Dig some deeper divots in the ice. Is this one back here? By McKendry, back to the blue line, a shot through the traffic, easily swallowed up into the paraphernalia as they try to dig it out. But I like what McKendry's doing here. I like that they're taking shots. They've only had 12 up until this period, already to this period. 
and uh, they, they're going to have to take shots to score goals. Arkansas wins this one back, and this is going to be Tucker Higgins with the puck. Springdale native, as Branscombe can't hold on to the puck. Stolen away in the slot. McKendry working through traffic, poked away by Kalmus. Puck still loose, goes behind the goal line, picked up by Wolf, back to the point. Finds a man, that's Passion, Passion near side, has Griminger. Griminger fires a shot through the traffic, sticked up high there by Kalmus, was going wide to the goal. A backhanded opportunity off the back of the net, and skating it down is Reich. Reich has a man behind the net, Wolf. Derek Wolf trying to pick this puck out of the corner, and he does. Wolf works his way through a man, but Higgins makes a nice backhanded play, held in here, but Arkansas able to turn the momentum back the other direction. Branscombe dumps it into the zone. Coming out to play that one is Joey Bernardini. And Arkansas holds the blue line momentarily. Odeline tries to knock his man off the puck, but back the other direction comes Reich. He'll fire a weak shot, stick the side. And Arkansas gets this puck back. Jackson has a man skating ahead. Branscombe, he's going to turn the defense around. Two on three back the other way. Branscombe centering pass. Nobody home. It goes to the far side board safely and harmlessly. It's tied up there, though. A scrum forward along the boards. Picked up here. And trying to break out of the zone is McKendry. Good job getting a stick on that one by the Arkansas player, Valentini. He has a man in front. Wheeler, a nice little move between the legs. The puck's still loose out front. Arkansas not able to dig that one out of there. And dumped back into the zone by Tilson. Wheeler giving chase, slammed hard off the boards. Near side, Rees can't hold the line. It comes trickling down the ice, no icing. Valdron to pick it up. Valdron behind his own cage. He's got a man four checking on him. Valdron puts his head down and just works his way through the neutral zone, offensive zone now. Valdron into the high slot, gets knocked off the puck, and they're going to call a slash here on McKendry. As Kalmus skates to the bench, Arkansas with the extra attacker. Six on five on the ice for Arkansas. Back to the point. Valentini fires a shot, but it's blocked down in front of the net by Logan Balecki, and he'll touch up for the first penalty of the third period, charged to Brent Feltis. I like that, that Arkansas gathered itself, won the mini game. We joke about that some, that the goalie got off the ice and got the sixth attacker on. Looked like that pass might have been for the sixth attacker. And because it was, uh, or, uh, it, it kind of botched up the play a little bit, but it was good to see Arkansas regroup and get something going. Arkansas an offensive zone face off. They got the Sugasawara, Parisi, and McLean line out there with the Valdron Palmer D partners. It's going to be Palmer with the puck. Palmer skating with it. Sends it down low. This is McLean. McLean gets it poked away from him by Brown. Arkansas still with it, though, having Palmer at the point. Instead, they could try the cross eyes pass. This is Valdron, high circle, far side. Passes one off, and McLean couldn't get good wood on it. He was right there on the back post, trying to take a page out of the Bearcats' playbook. They got to be careful here. No defenseman back. Sugasawara trying to work it along. Parisi holds the line. They're going to say he was onside. A couple of McKendry bench players arguing that he wasn't. Valdron's shot tipped aside there to the side of the net by Northrop, back to the point. Palmer holding it there, sends it to McLean on the far side on the outer hashes, skates to the face-off dot, sends it down low, finds Sugasawara, just barely gets to that puck. So Valdron just dumps it back into the zone, stolen away, and back the other direction comes Brown. Valdron got to be careful. He had a man skating by him, and here comes Northrop. Northrop centering pass goes well past Brown's stick, and here comes Sugasawara. Sugasawara gets caught up in a man's skates, and here comes Valdron. Valdron leaves it here for Sugasawara. He's got a man near side, Parisi, but broken up there by Northrop. Arkansas recovers in the corner. Still Sugasawara has McLean here. Centering pass out front, batted high into the air. Valdron's going to control it, send it back down low. 43 seconds left in the Arkansas power play. Plenty of time here. Sugasawara with it, looking for a centering pass, nothing home. Arkansas getting knocked off the puck. A centering pass finds Parisi's stick. Couldn't control it well enough. McLean on the back door. A diving stop there by the defender, Garrett Poole. And it gets sent out of the zone. A goal-saving dive by the McKendry Bearcats defender. And it's sent back to the blue line. Arkansas can't get it out of the zone. 12 seconds to go. Reich, forechecking there, knocks it back towards Kalmus. Rees with it, controlling it behind the cage, makes a stopping move and comes out the near side. Over the curling dot, he's going to move into the Jones Center logo and into the offensive zone, but they're going to say he was offside. Or an Arkansas player was offside. 14-22 to go in the third. Garrett Poole with an outstanding defensive play. Another forward playing defense. That's what their forwards have done tonight to uh, keep Arkansas scoring at a uh, 
at a minimum. Arkansas only two goals tonight. And you know, Rich, uh, Arkansas, though they've been the more offensive team in a lot of ways, <laughs> Arkansas has, uh, has uh, you know, shored up the defensive end here in the latter parts of the second period and in heading in here into the third. Exactly, and it had to be done. And this is a period when line changes are a little easier. Uh, they, they should be able to hold the line here. Reese gets the puck near side. Arkansas trying to control it. They tip it ahead. Deacon just knocks it into the zone. Patchen recovers for McKendry. Arkansas lining a man up there. Reese just holds the blue line. They're going to say it was off. Arkansas will have to check that up. And back the other direction comes McKendry. Skating hard with the puck. Far side, Griminger. Griminger gets knocked off of it, but regains control in the low slot. Passes it down low. Wright can't hold on to it. Wright sends it back to the point. Has a man, Griminger. Arkansas blocks the pass down. Picked up here by Everett. He's got Deacon ahead. Everett's going to skate it in himself. It's knocked off by Golovko. And back the other direction comes Griminger. Arkansas trying to line his man up. Newman Magnus knocks it off the boards. Everett tries to find a man ahead. Jackson's got to run this one down. It just stops on the ice. Boy, that one took a hard slowdown. Arkansas going to hold on to it. More, more a backhanded opportunity. Back to Magnus, having had a whole lot of ice time, and he hit the post on that. 13-15 to go here in the period. Arkansas, another opportunity. Getting knocked down in front of the net is Moore. This outlet pass finds the stick of Wolf. Stick handling through traffic. It finds his man, and a shot scored. Arkansas getting tangled up in front of the net. Looked like Joseph March and Brad Branscombe. And Logan Balecki sticks it in the goal to tie this game. Wow. Dalton Wolf skating ahead, splitting the D-men. Doesn't even know where the puck is. The pass is so good that when he turns around, he sees the puck. Somehow it pops out to Balecki, and he's got an easy... Uh, Basically the end of a breakaway and sticks it home. 13.03 to go. It's 2-2. Two two. And the thing that Arkansas had to have feared most is what happened. That one good pass, one shot, and it's a 2-2 two -two game. Tough break for the Hogs there. And those are the kinds of breaks McKendry's gotten tonight. Arkansas just not able to figure that out. A very tough break. Got it caught in the skates of an Arkansas defender. As Arkansas dumps one into the zone, Bearcats look to break out. Puck tied up in the corner, finally coming away with it is going to be Brilly. As Arkansas gets the puck back here, trying to skate it through the offensive zone as Wheeler, he gets up ended, comes to the near side, skating it ahead. This is the goal scorer just recently, Balecki. His centering pass almost gets tipped on goal. Baldron comes away with it. Baldron trying to work his way through, but stolen away again. Balecki shot well higher than that. Comes back to the near side. Really to pick it up there. He tries to work one along, finds his man, Tilson. Trying to tie him up in the corner and does. Arkansas tying the stick up. They're just going to send one back behind the net. Baldwin giving chase. Baldwin's going to get this puck. Out of the corner, banks a pass along, finds Valentini. Valentini just whiffs on it there, and so did the McKendry player. Here comes Brilly back the other way. He gets tripped up, no call. Arkansas banking a pass along, finds Valdron, far side, Valentini. Valentini with Tilson breaking out. This one is chipped out of play. He goes off the stick of the Bearcat player. And Arkansas will have a faceoff in the defensive zone. So Arkansas goes up two to one at the 925 mark of the first period. So less than 10 minutes into the game. And since that point, has only 15 shots. So the offense is really slowed down. Got to get some shots on goal. Got, got to get some offensive zone time. Arkansas, send this one behind the net. Turned over, McKendry turning it around in front. Nice back check by Parisi. McLean gets it, fires it to Sugasawara on a rope. Sugasawara stick handling to Parisi. He'll try to bat this one back along. Looking for Sugasawara's stick back to the point. This one shot, and it's gloved down. Tip down into the corner. Arkansas looking to dig this one out. Three McKendry Bearcats there to try to get that puck away. Arkansas still can't get it. Gay on the puck now. He'll send this one back to the point right past Rees. Retreating now is Sugasawara. Sugasawara with a man in his hip pocket. Just banks that one along. Arkansas can't get it away. A centering play in front off the side of the net. That was Northrup back to the point. This is Gay. He tries to get it through the traffic. Trickling puck. Backhanded opportunity off the skate of Kalmus. Cal and they'll send this one back to the neutral zone. 
Turning move, there's Brown. Brown, offensive zone, the right-handed stick. Works one through, Arkansas. Far side, one-on-one. -on -one. This is Sugasawara. He's not going to hustle too much, but he gets through a man. Sugasawara, forehand, backhand. Couldn't quite finish the play off. Good back check by Derek Northrup. Calculated move there by Suga Suwara. Almost created the go-ahead goal. But McKendry doing a little better job of getting back than Arkansas did earlier this period. And we remain tied 2-2. Two to two. Remember, the most important goal on the ice is your own. Defend it. Historically, Arkansas averages about 12 goals against McKendry in a game. McKendry averages only three. And Arkansas will send this one back around the boards. Arkansas 6-0 all time against McKendry. And they're putting that record on the line tonight. McKendry playing their heart out. Baldron sends this one into the zone. Trying to get out of the zone is Farinetta. They check up the offside. And McKendry looks to work it out of the zone. They find Golovko. Arkansas, though. And hammer it back into the zone. Farinetta picks it up here. Farinetta working through a man. Farinetta still with the puck. Gets upended. Deacon getting a hit on a man. Deacon with the puck. Deacon, a spinning forehand, finds Farinetta near side. He's going to chase it down into the corner. Lays a pass off. That's Everett. Back to Farinetta. Good tic-tac passing. Arkansas looking for a little bit more offensive zone time. They're going to get the puck away. This is Deacon. He's got a man in the center. Ops for the point. This is going to be Valdron through the traffic. Blocked down nicely in front by Grimmier. And this one's sent ahead. A cherry-picking Wolf over here. He gets knocked off the puck. Good job by Arkansas there not to allow the opportunity. Held the blue line far side. Offensive zone. Stick handling through Brindle on the back post. Fires one in front. Nice save. Kalmas gets all the way over to stop the low shot as Everett lines up a hit and hits a man against the half board. That was a dangerous hit, and he's going to go to the box for boarding. And they're going to call an elbow on him. Everett jawing on his way to the box. That's Arkansas's first penalty since midway through the first period. Aiden Everett leads the team in penalty minutes. He gets his first of the night. That notches him up to 38 on the season. Well, McKendry's taking it to the Razorbacks here this period. It may be all they've got, but give them a lot of credit. They're giving it and dishing it out to the tune of a 1-0 lead this period and a 2-2 tie. Outshot Arkansas 7-2. The only place where they're uh, deficient is in faceoffs, where Arkansas continues to hold about a 2-1 advantage since the start of the second period. Tough hit taken there on the far side. We hope he's okay. He was escorted off the ice by his own players. Looks like he took a hard hit into the half board over there. Never like to see that. Big props, though, to the McKendry Bearcats tonight. Done a good job. Did not let that, uh, you know, you get the early lead. You come in here, you, you beat a team 26-3 to in two games last week, SIU Edwardsville, and you you always wonder how a team will react to that. Sometimes it's not very positively. This has been a great reaction because they're playing a much better team and they, they've risen to the occasion. Arkansas, a good example of that, beating SMU 21 to seven over their weekend series the week before they lost two games to Kansas. Arkansas trying to rebound in this game, but McKendry giving them all they've got. Near side circle, tough shot off the side of the net. Kalmas trying to get back in position and does. This puck is getting batted around behind the net. Always scary for a goaltender, not knowing which side is going to come out. This one comes back out near side hash on the outer side of the circle. Sent back down low, low circle. A centering pass out front. What a save by Kalmas. And Arkansas clears the puck down the ice. Valentini and Branscom go for a change. On for them is Sugasawara, Valdron, along with Wheeler. Comes back to the near side. Trying to break it into the offensive zone as Brown, Arkansas doing all they can to disrupt the play in the neutral zone. Another shot, glove down. And Kalmas getting his work in here in the third period. Plenty of shots for the Bearcats. And sparking his team. 
And, uh, you know, the Arkansas penalty kill has been pretty good. It's been the breakaway opportunities, the uh, wide open uh, centerman right by the doorstep. That's what's hurt Arkansas. Arkansas loses this face off. Brown with it at the point, lays it back down low, has a man. Turning there is his man in the pass out front. Rebound there, it goes right across the crease. They were celebrating for a second. They thought it went in, it did not. Pass back down low, tough shot, glove down in front. Getting this one back is Northrop. McKendry. Looks like they have all the energy in the world right now, and Arkansas looks gassed as it's sent back point to point. Good job by Wheeler to knock it away only momentarily. Brown with it, low circle, fires a shot, and Kalmus swallows that one up in the equipment. Arkansas getting a couple extra seconds off the penalty clock there. Whatever now, you can do. Arkansas, like I said, has been good on the penalty kick kill, but McKendry's been really good on the power play, at least in creating shots. They have not scored a power play goal, but they've uh, had three and four shots on their power plays. This one with 28 seconds left on the power play, they've already got three. And we'll add that time back, four seconds added back to the clock. Arkansas outshot this period 10 to two. It seemed like McKendry's had the better chances here in the third. They do have the goal to prove that. Arkansas just looking like they're just trying to get it out of the zone at any opportunity. It's held in again by Griminger. Griminger to the high slot. He gets tripped up, and Arkansas is going to have to kill off a five on three now. Parisi getting his stick caught up. Good hard work there by Ethan Griminger, the O'Fallon, Missouri native. 53 career games for McKendry coming into this year. And a grad student to boot. So Arkansas, unfortunately, will have to try to kill off a five on three now. To the right of their goaltender comes the faceoff. They're gonna keep Deacon on the ice with Rees and Odeline. Those are the three they feel most confident with right now on the five on three. Brown with it, a lot of space out there for this sure passing McKendry team. They got Brown back at the point. Brown loading one up, fires it to Northrop who gets it through the traffic. Good job by Kalmus on the doorstep to stop that one. Six seconds until Everett's out of the box. Arkansas just needs to hold on for that long to kill the first of two off. Be really important here to win a face off back to the corner and clear it. Deacon not going to win this one. Brown at the high circle trying to work it through the traffic. The tip just goes wide of the net. Odeline skating down into the corner almost hit the referee. He's back down around the boards picked up by Poole. Garrett Poole controls it below the goal line. He sends this one and off the stick of Rees. Slows it down. He's back down into the corner and Rees. Pins a man into the corner, a great hit there. Back to the point, Northrop finds his man Nelson. Nelson loads one up, sends it to Brown. Brown on the high circle, he's gonna send it back to Nelson who fires a shot, blocker to side. Nice job by Kalmus. And Rees shields his man off in the corner. Rees getting hooked up there, still no call. Arkansas not gonna get that one. As this pass down low, a nice little tip on net by Brilly. Arkansas gets the puck away, sends it off the near side boards and down the ice. One minute left and the Parisi minor penalty for tripping. Branscombe going stride for stride with Brown up the ice, and he does take it away. This is Valentini, sends it back the other direction. Another 15 seconds killed off. 40 seconds left. As Bernardini standing behind his own goal. Nice job by Wheeler holding the line, but back the other direction comes Grosso. Tony Grosso sends it into the zone. Arkansas just trying to send it back the other way, cannot. Reich holds the line. Valdron sends it back the other way, and another 15 seconds will tick off the clock. 6.01 to go here in the third period of action. As McKendry regroups behind their own net, Patchen to pick it up there. He's got a man far side, should say near side, looking for Griminger. It's blocked down, six seconds, five now. Arkansas gonna get a little momentum with this penalty kill. Two seconds, now one, as Griminger works it through the traffic. A shot, rebound there, goes off the back of the net. Arkansas is gonna pick it up. Farinetta trying to get it out of the zone, and Deacon does. Arkansas successfully killing that penalty. 
But McKendry wasting no time. Griminger in the slot, fires a shot higher than that. Tipped up there by Palmer. He takes a tough hit there by Griminger. He's working hard for every puck. Reich gets it behind the net. Reich is a towering man over everybody. 6'6", 265. And he looks every bit of that out there. As McKendry fires a shot and another save. Boy, that one looked like it was painful to stop for Kalmus. But it must feel good. No mistaking who has the momentum right now. The McKendry Bearcats have every bit of it. Outshot the Razorbacks 15 to two, just hazing the Arkansas net there for the last five minutes. 5.08 to go. And Arkansas respond. They've had some guys sitting on the bench for a while. I wonder if that'll come into their advantage here. It seems like Brilly and Blandina have been on the ice for a while. Brilly gets the puck here, offensive zone, spins a shot around, hits the side of the net. Another confusing opportunity there. Another centering pass broken up nicely again by Odeline. Farinetta just trying to get it out of the zone, kept in again by Wolf. He'll dump it deep. Rees picks it up, has a man near side, Odeline. Odeline gonna bank it along for Rees. Rees, good stick handling there, and he, oh, blows a tire behind the net. Good job by Rees just to shelter the man off the puck. Blandina, along with Wolf, getting down there in the dirty area, trying to get that puck out. Deacon finally comes away with it for Arkansas. He's on his backhand, has a man near side. Finds Everett. Everett has one with him. Everett gets knocked off his feet. And it's no icing either. Boy, Arkansas, two calls there that could have gone their way. Did not. Bearcats dump it back in. Arkansas have to forget that really quickly. Valder into Palmer. Palmer across the red line, just dumps it into the zone. Arkansas gets a quick change. Deacon comes off the ice. Parisi will come on for him. Arkansas holds the blue line. The Hogs with the puck, offensive zone. Parisi with it, and this is their first offensive zone time in a while. They'll send this one around the boards, and Palmer working hard. He'll get the puck. No trip there as he got his stick tangled up. A tough angled shot off the side of the net by Valdrin, and I think... Bernardino feels lucky to cover that one up. Well, he hasn't had much action down there this entire period. 16 minutes plus and two shots. That one is a shot at the goal, not on goal. And Arkansas fortunate now with an offensive zone faceoff. Parisi takes the faceoff, wins it back. Palmer tries to fire it through the traffic. And a good job by Arkansas holding their man up at the blue line there. Nick Nelson was trying to break out. But Valdron was having none of that. McLean with it now. This could be something as McLean skates it into the zone. McLean with the puck around the boards. He's going to skate hard with it behind the net. McLean makes a stopping move there. He's got a man near side. Parisi, tough angle, nice pass in front. Comes back out to Valdron, high slot. Stick handles through, fires a shot and saved down. If Arkansas can get any elevation on these pucks, Bernardini is dropping to that butterfly early, and he's not very tall. Baldwin might be the guy to get that shot. He's had several of them tonight. He's got a goal. He's got an assist. He was in the right spot there when the deflected puck came out. Get it to him again. Both of Arkansas's goals tonight have been tough ones to handle for Bernardini, but he's shown well tonight. Arkansas gets this puck back. Palmer is Arkansas shifting this momentum back the other way in the last couple of minutes here. Palmer dumping it back down low. Coming out, though, is McKendry the other direction. McKendry, offensive zone. This is Nelson. Nelson passes one off. A shot just high of the net. Northrop couldn't get that one on goal. This one sent back the other way. Jackson just slams it off the boards and down the ice. Arkansas seemed like they had plenty of time and some fresh skates there. Yeah, really no reason to do that. He can make up for it here, though. Although Arkansas will have to do it just about 30 feet from its net to the left. Garrett Jackson wears the alternate A on in the front of his uni. He's out there with the captain right now. Probably reading his uh, forward thinking he was going to make the sprint. As this one's won through. Bearcats playing more aggressively than the Hogs here in the third period for sure. Palmer just... Dumps this one ahead, finds Branscombe. Branscombe an outlet pass for Jackson. Jackson works his way through. He has more on the back post, but couldn't settle the puck down in time and into the netting. They knock it off. Sliding through. 
Bearcats get the stoppage here. Arkansas will get a change. You talk about, you uh, alluded to McKendry's hunger here. I think it's because they have more of the hunting mammals right now, but no animal smells more than an Arkansas Razorback. So let's see them. Didn't know you could quantify Turn. smell. <laughs> you found a way to do it as Arkansas gets tied up here in the offensive zone. They'll get this puck all the way down the ice. The Bearcats do onto the stick of Kalmus. Picked up here by Arkansas. Odeline has a man checking on him. Odeline, he wants to skate it up himself. Sends it far side, looking for Farinetta. A little out ahead of him, though. Patchen picks it up. Tries to bank one off the boards, finds Reich. Reich stick handling through, 6'6 six, six man. Finds his man near side, Griminger. Griminger, the graduate student, fires a shot high. Kalmus lets that one go, and rightfully so. Trying to get it out of the zone, Everett checking ahead. Everett's got to be careful. And those checks kind of extends the stick as Rees stops his man cold at the blue line. Good job here by Arkansas. A couple of stick checks as this one comes back down into the corner. Suga Sawara makes a head fake. And he gets this one across looking for Deacon, but holding the line here near side, Griminger. Griminger's been all over the ice this period, passing this one back down low, looking for Nelson. Nelson not able to get that one out front. And Arkansas just trying to chip it along. That's Suga Sawara taken away again here by Northrop. Fires a shot, glove save. Man, have mercy. Alex Kalmus all of a sudden is keeping him in this game. He's been big here in the third period after McKendry got the equalizer. 1.12 to go, 72 seconds. I, I smell <laughs> overtime hockey. Potentially 1.12 to go. We knock on wood here at the Jones Center at Arkansas to make something happen. Arkansas will get this face off ahead. Looking for McLean, it's stolen away here. Arkansas picks this one up. It's sent back into the defensive zone. One minute, Arkansas sends it back down. Picked up there by Feltus, sends it along the boards. Arkansas gloves it down nicely by Valdron. That one might have been even higher than the one Odeline gloved down earlier. Eight feet, six inches. <laughs> I've been listening. <laughs> Arkansas chasing it down into the corner, backhanded along by Poole. Under a minute to go, 36 seconds to be exact. Arkansas far side. Parisi picks this puck up. Arkansas getting checked along the far side boards. Puck tied up there. Trying to dig it out of there. Suga Sawara. Puck trying to move along. 25 seconds now. The clock melting away here in this period, and they're going to get an offensive zone faceoff. The puck got tied up along the boards. Parisi getting tugged on. And the extended lean there by Garrett Poole, who I don't know if he was just tired or stuck, but that almost brought about a, uh, a roughing penalty on somebody. 21.6 to go, third period of action, five on five hockey. Poole, he's a feisty one. <laughs> I think there's a chip on the shoulder of the entire McKendry team, and I kind of admire that. Arkansas gets this puck away. Clayne trying to make a stick handling move through, but back the other direction comes Brilly. Brilly into the offensive zone. He gets shoved off the puck nicely by Valdron, but taken away here. Northrop, seven seconds to go off the side of the net. Five seconds now, four, three. Arkansas just control it, send it out of the zone, and we have overtime hockey here at the Jones Center between the Arkansas Razorbacks and the McKendry Bearcats. A victory in ways for McKendry, which I believe this will be the first time they've ever taken Arkansas to overtime. So it's the uh, closest they've ever been to a victory against Arkansas. And uh, a banner night for the Bearcats. Arkansas came back from a one goal early deficit there in the first 5-15, got two bang bang. And uh, then the offense has just kind of disappeared. Only three shots on goal in the third period. Arkansas with 26 shots. McKendry now at 28. So the Bearcats for the game have uh, outshot Arkansas. If it was a boxing match, I always love to, to uh, look at it like a boxing match. I'd say uh, Arkansas won the first two rounds, 10 to nine. And the third round, McKendry won 10 to eight. Really dominant, the most dominant period. And McKendry's the one that owned it. Arkansas. Conferring over near their bench area. McKendry looks confident enough. They're just skating around ready for this five minute overtime period to start. The puck sitting right on the end of the Jones Center logo. 
I think Garrett Poole's fire there at the end of the period. This kind of uh, typifies what the uh, Bearcats are all about tonight. They came in maybe on a mission. And, you know, things like history, coaches love to throw that out. You know, we've never beaten this team before. You know, it's coaches get hats with scores uh, on them. It's so their kids can look at it and go, oh, they beat us 14-3, to three, right? So uh, McKendrick's kind of – Kind of wearing that jersey tonight, the one that, that says, you've got to beat me. And Arkansas has not done it yet. The difference being uh, McKendry's power play has been anemic this year, under 10% of the time on their conversions. And it's shown here tonight. They've had multiple opportunities on the power play, including a five on three, and Arkansas has been able to shut it down. And that's really a testament, though, to Arkansas's 81% penalty kill as well. And while the penalty kill did its job, McKendry's penalty uh, power play, I think, really gave them more energy, especially in that third period. Face off, one ahead here by Valdron. He's going to waste no time getting it. Oh, so close to the goal. Wow. Valdron just one stick handle away from a breakaway off the face off. That's a guy who just said, no, no, no. I'm taking this right now. Enough of this. He's one guy that can certainly do it. One of the complete packages on this Arkansas team. Tyler Valdron, a stick handling move off the back of the net there by Grimminger. Stick lost here. Trying to lift it up. Valdron to his man. Coming back into the zone is Grimminger. He fires a shot just wide of the net. A couple of people jumping here at the Jones Center, including myself. So it looked like it went in. Arkansas near side boards. Puck comes down low below the goal line. The centering pass out front broken up. Here comes Everett back the other direction. Nice stick handling move around one man. Everett offensive zone trying to set something up. He gets tied up there by DiBiase. Sorry, that was brilliant. Brilliant is hurt. He wants to get off the ice. He is in some sort of pain. DiBiase sends it around the boards. Picked up here. Parisi watches this one's well offside, and that's going to be a defensive zone faceoff for McKendry. And while I am totally unbiased, despite being a UA graduate, I was here to help the linesman there by raising my hand to show that this is an offside. I, <laughs> I gave him the little nod, yes, this is one of them. We Googled that between periods, as I reported earlier. We've had some close calls in the past in overtime with that blue line. That one wasn't even close. <laughs> You are correct. Odeline will control this one at the point. Odeline, a little back skate there. Backhands one along, looking for Parisi. Parisi trying to fight for the puck. Arkansas does come away with it. Sugasawara, a tough angled shot off the side of the net. Parisi's going to pinch down here. Parisi going to take his spot at the point. And just reaching back to cover that one up is Bernardini. Guess he wanted the stoppage. He's got to feel good about the advantage in the faceoffs. You know, he's got two consecutive shutout periods. Suga Sawara with that last shot that glanced off the back of the net there. He's only got one shot on goal tonight. Arkansas back to the point, stolen away. Coming back the other direction is Northrop. He's got it in the offensive zone. He's on his backhand, fires a shot well wide. Good job cutting down the angle by Kalmus. No opportunity as Rees gets his stick caught up. Northrop goes falling to the ice, and Rees is finally going to get called for something. Cross check. And I think that was a... Uh, he was on thin ice after the uh, McKendry player went down, and if you know the next thing he did, if it was exhale, it might have been a call for that. Two minutes cross-checking for Corey Rees. It's a tough one. Arkansas will be on the four on three here as McKendry confers with their coach. A quick conference. And back to the offensive zone for the faceoff come the McKendry Bearcats. Pool to take the faceoff. You got Nelson near side and Brown at the point. Along with Northrup out there. You got Nelson, Nelson to Brown. Brown fires a shot, goes off the top of the boards there after being tipped. Odeline just wants to tie this puck up. Odeline doing a good job, keeps the puck moving. Odeline getting back in position. Deacon, Odeline, and Palmer out there. This pass all the way across, another tough angled shot, and Palmer shuts that one down, and that one goes well out of play. Almost up to the punching bags over here in the near side corner. Razorbacks did a good job there covering the 
puck carrier, then the next pass, and then the second pass after that. McKendry not passing it enough, perhaps, to get a good open shot. Three minutes left in this overtime period. This one one ahead by Arkansas. Skating forward is Valdron. He's trying to get the puck away from Brown. Cannot do it. Valdron skating back now. Palmer trying to knock it away. Palmer, Valdron, and Deacon on the ice now. Cross ice pass comes back to the point. Arkansas going to chop it out of the zone. Good job by Grant Deacon. He wants a quick change, skating towards the bench. They're going to send Griffin Sugasawara back out there. The freshman Phenom will have to take an offensive zone faceoff on the other end. Odeline getting out on the ice. Going to say that Valdron is wearing the uh, beast mode identifier. He almost got away with another one. And Deacon also, both of them stepped up there on this four on three. Cannot be lazy on the four on three. We got a couple of hustlers out there in Odeline and Valdron and Sugasawara. As a McKendry player blows a tire, Sugasawara can't take it away. He's got to be careful with that stick, swinging it through the zone. One minute to go. Good hit there by Sugasawara. Pushing his man off the puck, and Odeline sends it back down the ice. Odeline, probably the best at sending those on the team. Very good at getting the puck in the air. It's sent to the near side boards, breaking out is Brown. Riley Brown, sophomore, fires a shot, and it's swallowed up. Alex Kalmus. Sugasawara going to the bench. They're going to bring Palmer back out. Odeline will stay out there with Deacon and Palmer. Kalmus in net. Face off to the right of him. Face off. One. It's tied up and one back by McKendry. They get a man far side out the point. Grimmier passes one along. Has a man near side. Fires a shot through the traffic. Rebound goes through the crease. Arkansas is going to recover in time. Kalmus lost his stick momentarily. And another shot gloved down. Boy, who needs a stick when you have a mitt like that? 28 seconds left in the penalty kill, and Arkansas can breathe a sigh of relief. Face off to the left of Kalmus. One back. High slot. Skating with it is Grimmier. He winds up a slap shot, weakly fired. Deacon sends it down the ice. Odeline wants to give chase. He's going to run this one down. He's going to turn back around the other direction. I think he just wanted to make them think he was on his way. Sugasuara back out there for Arkansas. Back across the line comes DiBiase, who fires a shot. It's blocked down. Arkansas back the other direction. Nice job by Sugasuara. He's one on three. Into the zone, fires a shot. Blocked down in front by Grimminger. Graduate student versus freshman as Arkansas kills off the penalty. Sent down the ice, and this one will be blown dead for icing. 1-11 to go in this overtime period. A two to two game. Give us 71 good seconds here with this four man line. Looks like it'll be Sugasawara, Palmer, Parisi, and the beast mode guy himself, Baldrin. Although two are about to skate off. The Razorbacks will make a change since they have that advantage. Nope, they will not. They will just get some quick instruction. Head they back out on the ice. Might be a little gamesmanship there to get a little extra rest. They want these guys out there. This one's sent hard around the boards. Palmer going to pinch down. He fires a shot. Puck goes high into the air. Easily picked up here by the Bearcats. They send it along. Baldwin's going to recover the puck for Arkansas. Two four checkers on him. Parisi into the offensive zone. Stick handles around one. Fires a shot on goal. He gets tripped up. No call here. 52 seconds to go. And the overtime, Arkansas loses the puck. Back the other way comes Wolf. He tries to fire a pass into open space. Can't get it off. Wolf, another shot, tipped on net. Kalmus just tips that one away, poked it along, and now picked up here by Arkansas. 36 seconds to go in the overtime. A cross ice pass finds the stick of Sugasawara. He'll line one up, stick handles through, and he gets elbowed. Shot, score! Alex Brazy! Seals the game for Arkansas in overtime, and they'll take the three to two victory in tomorrow's morning matchup. What a goal by Parisi, and he earned it. Arkansas with five shots since the start of the third period, and the fifth one finds some twine 
and Arkansas shake hands and get ready for their 11 a.m. matchup with McKendry. 27.8 seconds left on the OT clock, and that's all the time they needed. Got to hand it to McKendry, though. They left it all on the ice. Arkansas won this game really with the penalty kill. Uh, you can talk about the anemic uh, Bearcats power play, but it was pretty good tonight. And uh, if it hadn't been for some strong power play defense and uh, Alex Kalmus in the net who really shined in the third period. The first two periods, you know, he's only got 11 stops and given up a goal. Uh, the third period, even though uh, McKendry got the goal and in overtime, Kalmus was huge for the Razorbacks and they pull out a 3-2 victory. They stop a two game losing streak and they'll come back tomorrow and maybe try to reestablish some of that uh, long-time dominance that uh, the Razorbacks have had over the Bearcats. Meanwhile, if you're McKendry, this is a tough loss to take. You come into the Jones Center for the seventh time in your history. You have it right there on the line. You have a power play in overtime, a four on three. You can't capitalize. How do you rebound from that, especially with an 11 a.m. start tomorrow? Well, and you, you outplayed them. You, were, uh, you tied the game, and then you continue to outplay your opponent. Uh, you've just got to be proud of that. Here's the question. How much gas is in the tank? I mean, those kids played hard. It wasn't that Arkansas didn't, but uh, McKendry for a solid period plus just wanted it more. It just looked like they wanted it more. And, and it's hard to tell in hockey without watching, but the statistic that tells it all uh, undoubtedly is 21 shots to five from the third period on. Uh, fortunately for Arkansas, they had as many goals as McKendry in, in the, that 25 minutes of play and uh, had the goal, one goal lead going into the third so that they uh, were able to come away with a 3-2 victory. Exciting game, great game. Maybe more fans uh, can get out tomorrow morning, uh, bring their, uh, bring, bring their uh, phones so they can watch the Arkansas shellacking of Vanderbilt tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we'll be here to uh, bring it to you. All right, so the final score here at the Jones Center, 3-2 in overtime for Rich Sanders and Quinn Shields. I'm EJ Sanders. We'll see you tomorrow morning.